Well, hello, my darling YouTube fam. I hope you're well and dandy. My name is Rebecca, and of course, it is a pleasure to meet you today. Justin Bieber has not been featured on this show, so I think it was time. Don't forget to get my free Vocal Daily Blast, which is on my website. And of course, if you want to upload your singing to me, you can on Wizio. That. And don't forget to follow me on the social media. That would be great. That would be grand. That would be good. Okay, should we do this? Should we do it now? Brilliant. Let's go. That was a not a. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Everybody knows my name now, but something about it still feels strange. Like looking in a mirror, trying to steady yourself and seeing somebody else. And everything is not the same now. It feels like all the lives have changed. Maybe when I'm older, it'll all calm down, but it's killing me now. What if you had it all, but nobody to call? Maybe then you'd know me Cause I've had everything But no one's listening And that's just fucking lonely Chip and chips, man I'm so lonely Lonely Wait, first of all Give this man a hug right now. If you know Justin Bieber, that's just making me real, feel really sad because that whole context and that whole, you know, all about being lonely. And you know, at the end of my videos, hashtag you're never alone. And it's one of the worst feelings ever to feel like you're alone. So so for him to, to express his vulnerability through lyrics, which by the way, obsessed with a lot of to, <laughs> to talk about it. just the intense emotionality um of this song of this score you know uh it's it's a very sort of touching subject and and i just think it's it's great for a, a huge star like mr bieber to be able to um sort of come from a place very very vulnerable and very sort of warming at the same time and honest and for his vocals also to have very much <laughs> um matured and this kind of yodel back and forth um which let me watch that again and um, but the simplistic of the music as well it's it's a key sort of, it's very poignant i do want to cry but i'm gonna keep it together i know you guys are like just cry if you want to cry like, i know but then it's just like me crying and it's like that's not that's not good for anyone it's kind of like that it's kind of like a slow yodel you usually can like oh you know that <laughs> so it's interesting that he's chosen to do something like a yodel where it's switching in between obviously the the voc um the notes there instead of doing like instead of like a um lo like a kind of more wispier breathy kind of like legato connected vocal but it's kind of like more choppier sort of i guess it hooks into you more hearing it like that and that kind of adjustment and that uh, i feel like there's a fret in there if you um fretting have you heard of that before fret <laughs> Um, and I'm not talking about the guitar kind of thing. Anyway. Lonely. Space. Sparse. Lonely. Everybody knows my past now. Like my house was always made of glass. And maybe that's the price you Lyrics. pay for the money and fame at an early age. Yes. Think about it wisely. Everybody saw me sick. Shit. And it felt like no one gave a shit. We did. They criticize the things I did as an idiot kid. Wait, sorry, these ly lyrics are just him writing like, like, we're going to do some therapy today, Mr. Beeper. We're going to write down our feelings and how we are feeling right now. And it's kind of like, all right, people thought I was a bit of a dickhead, a bit of an idiot, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, <sighs> then I was like a, another video about judgments and, you know, like, we we don't know him like we don't know what people have gone through but anyway um back to the vocal but i i, I think the the 
the reason the vocal is in a certain sense yes it's connected and yes it's you know with, i think that the yodels are sticking out to me mainly because i did not expect them but this kind of sparsity this kind of sparse space in between which makes it kind of slightly awkward in a sense um especially for an english person because we're all about that aren't we um but i'm really intrigued it's very intriguing what if you had it all but nobody to call there you go maybe then you'd know me money doesn't make you happy because i've had everything but no one's listening ah shipping and that's just fucking lonely shivers i'm so sorry oh my god this is really deep it's really dark and i wouldn't say dark i just think it's nice that he can write something like that and it's nice when you've got a a, a versatility with a singer and you've got like yummy yummy um you know yummy yummy and i a lot of respect you know he's he's obviously I like to think he's doing really well. I just think it's nice that he can maybe reflect on on his on um, times of his life as he's getting older and reflective, and that's and and, and as <laughs> sorry, but being part of a singer and or as a songwriter, you draw in all types of experiences. Sometimes subconscious, sometimes you don't realize where it's coming from, but it's coming possibly from a place of sadness or desperation or hope. And it's nice that if you can communicate to an audience who, oh, I just feel sad now. Very sparse, wasn't it? And um, it wasn't about range. It wasn't about, you know, hitting higher notes or sort of um, even chesty or lower notes. It's about, that was about a song that it was more about speaking, about saying those those words, you know what I mean? So, sorry, I feel quite sullen um hashtag never stop singing hashtag you're never alone hashtag be yourself oh i did like the vocal fries and i did like the onsets to his voice sorry <laughs> for me it was more the context with the lyrics but the context were about exactly the feeling and sensation and that's what singing's about and singing isn't about perfection singing is about getting your message across lots of love i love you guys thank you so much bye <laughs> 